Ukraine has begun to seize the initiative at the front, and Russia's problems are rapidly worsening. Russian Z War correspondent and imperialist Maxim Kalashnikov openly spoke about this in his blog. He noted that the tactics of the RF, Armed Forces Command, had increased the acute shortage of manpower at the front. The offensives on Kharkov and Pokrovsk had worsened Russia's situation. Now, apparently, mobilization was unavoidable. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces invaded Kursk. The entire system broke down. The principle of a ceasefire that we will depend on the situation on the ground, demarcate. In the Kursk region, the ulcer is hurting and festering. We don't have the strength to drive the enemy out of there. Why did they go to Kharkiv, to Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. This is now having an effect. And the advance on Pokrovsk has also stopped. The price of rapid movement there is huge losses. There is no strength now. Guys, the troops are very exhausted. We need to make a decision. If we do nothing, we can end up with very unpleasant consequences at the front, Kalashnikov said. He admitted that the highest military political leadership of Russia is very reluctant to announce a new wave of mobilization as it fears severe political and economic consequences. They really don't want mobilization. I understand how our leadership fears this. They really don't want it. Remembering the not very good experience of autumn 2022, especially since mobilization will have to be carried out with the economy and state administration not mobilized. We need to decide. We need to decide. The strategic scales have begun to tip in favor of our enemy, the Z War correspondent emphasized. Ukraine's defense forces have reported that the Russians have deployed soldiers with no combat experience to bolster their assaults in the city of Vovchansk on the Kharkiv front. The 4th Volunteer Reconnaissance and Assault Brigade, named after Alexander Nevsky, was deployed on this front. They suffered quite heavy losses, and now soldiers from the 128th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade are arriving to reinforce them as well as other units. However, the latest reports say that the units being brought in for assault actions in Vovchansk have received rather poor training. These servicemen have never seen combat before. It is our understanding that this newly arrived personnel is a mobilization resource raised by Russia. It is not yet known for certain whether these are former prisoners or representatives of other countries, said Vitaly Sarantsev, spokesperson for the Kharkiv Operational Strategic Group of Forces of Ukraine. One of the reasons why U.S. President Joe Biden does not provide full military aid to Ukraine is that he is afraid of the collapse of Russia, writes Ukrainian publication Zekalo Tizny with reference to sources. Within the limits of presidential arms transfer powers, Biden could have long ago provided Ukraine with the necessary weapons that would strategically improve the situation on the battlefield, but the White House consistently ignores this possibility, the publication notes. According to sources, Washington is guided by several military, technical and political motives. At the same time, it is noted that the risk of the war expanding to the territory of NATO countries or the nuclear threat are not the main ones. The following motives are indicated. Politicians and the US military fear that the excessive transfer of equipment and ammunition to Ukraine may deplete the Pentagon's reserves and the US may be unprepared for conflicts in other parts of the world, for example in the Indo-Pacific region or the Middle East. The political tradition of the USA assumes that decisions that could tie the hands of the future head of state are not made before the presidential elections. Washington still adheres to the 2022 strategy, according to which the war should continue only on the territory of Ukraine. The Biden administration is afraid of the possible collapse of Russia as a result of the victory of Ukraine. In particular, in Washington, they do not want to allow China to return the primitive territories annexed by the Russian Federation in the 20th century. The publication added that Biden adheres to a view of Russia formed back in the 1970s when the USSR was a strong adversary that the US tried not to irritate. Although the US is providing weapons to Kiev, military analysts point out that it is deliberately not giving the Ukrainian army a specific type of weapon. In addition, the ban on using army specific types of weapons. In addition, the ban on using American munitions against military bases on Russian territory is still in force. This is a ban that is illogical and that Kiev has long wanted to be lifted.